Fano here, what's up everybody? Today, this time, we're gonna take a look at how to use chains in Ableton Live to help us mix bass. Here I have a, a bass and an Amen. You, you could almost think it's the 90s again, but dream on. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just shut down or turn off the Amen channel, so what we have left is the bass. Keeping it jungly here. Um, I'm using the Ableton Live instrument called Hip Hop Sub Bass. I like it. Very simple, very nice sub instrument. Nothing surprising there. And uh, to kick off, I'll just uh, get an audio effect rack on my bass channel. And uh, it's empty uh, by default. I'll drag in a utility plugin. And dragging in any effect creates a chain. And today I want to I want to be separating the bass into mono and stereo. So let's rename this into mono. And I'll set the stereo width of the utility plugin to zero, which means that it only allows mono content to go through. I'll duplicate the chain, I'll rename it, make it stereo and here I'll set the width of utility plugin to 200 which means that there's only stereo signal going through on this chain so if I solo this chain let's listen yeah it's got the subs mono and stereo doesn't have anything because it's all in mono for now and there is no stereo content um, I'll leave the mono chain now um, I'll concentrate on stereo. So now there is no stereo content. Um, let me add a chorus here and let's take a quick listen. You can hear that there's something happening because chorus gives us, um, it, it widens the stereo image. And um, I could also, let's add a saturator after chorus. So we're definitely getting somewhere. I'll um, I'll boost the drive a little. So yeah, now we're getting some uh, nice sounding stereo roughness in the place. But what I want to do is I want to cut the, the low end off because when you're mixing your bass, you don't want to have any subs in your stereo image. So let's first take a look at how it looks. I'm using the EQ8 that comes with Ableton Live 9. So let's take a look. So it's easy to see that there is a lot of sub content. I'll just, uh, I'll want to remove it. So yeah, maybe do a cut around 170. And um, I could try boosting the mids a bit. Well, it does something little. Now we could, let's listen to, first let's listen to the mono. So yeah, there's our mono bass and here's the stereo. Let's, let's listen to them together. So if you're using headphones, I hope you are, or decent uh, monitors, you can hear that there is now some stereo action happening. I'll play it and I'll toggle on and off the stereo. What I like about chains is that you can adjust their volumes just like this. So yeah, it's kind of handy. Let's just listen to the bass real quick in a context. I could bring the bass channel up just a little and turn the subs down by maybe two decibels. I'll switch it on. I'll switch stereo on and off so you can hear. It. 
So yeah, it helps us mix bass and give it some presence. And nothing says that you couldn't have another saturator on stereo chain. Let's put it here and uh, let's listen. I'll um I'll mute the break. So you could get kind of wild. I'll turn this one down a little. Okay, I could let's map the drive knob onto the macro. Let's. Uh, I'll actually. I want to mute the mono again just to hear the stereo. And uh, here it is. Yeah. So I'll map the drive knob of the second saturator on one of the knobs here. And now I can see. Well, let's listen real quick. I want to adjust the range of the values that the knob is using to make it somehow useful. I'll set it to zero to maybe around 20. Let's hear. Yeah, that's better. So let's listen to the result. It's getting a little loud when you turn up the gain, so you could could add a limiter, uh, make it put it outside the chain, so it means that the resulting signal will be going into the limiter as a whole. Let's listen to everything together. You could even, um, you could even do a little. This is maybe it's a bit of an overkill, but you could put an auto filter there and uh, set it to bandpass. I'll mute the mono again and uh, let's listen to this here. So yeah, you could do this if you wanted to, and you know you can just process the chain as long as you want to. If I wanted to map the uh, frequency here, I'll enter map mode. I could click on frequency, map it to macro, and have some fun. Just like that. Let's listen to the the result. So yeah, this is chains. Uh, one more thing, always remember that in live you can record in your clip all the automation that you do. So just to uh, give a little demonstration, I'll just uh, record turning of the drive knob into the clip. And you do it here, you activate recording into clips here, click on it, you have, uh, you have the track armed here, click on the clip and do your thing. So you see all the automation is here in the clip, so yeah. And finally we could turn off the stereo if we wanted to, or, or adjust its volume. Yeah, maybe it doesn't sound super cool, but I hope you get the idea of how you can use chains and do some separation for mono and stereo and process them further. I hope this helps. Now go get some coffee and make some jungle. Peace out.